Okay, so here's my take on Ryan Tapscott's project for his aquarium. Um, I did this using uh, the $4 Arduino uh, that Steve uh, uh, made us aware of. And uh, I also on this I have an LED strip that you can get off Amazon for eight dollars, eight or nine dollars, I think, for uh, an entire row of them like this. Uh, this one happens to be waterproof, so you, but you can just pull it out of the waterproof casing. Uh, they also have other ones that position the uh, the LEDs closer together. So these are 12 volt, and I attached three. There's three colors in it in the strip. Uh, you can get white by uh, lighting up all three at once. So what I've done is on the drivers, I'm just using FETs. So let's get in close. So we have the Arduino over here, the $4 one, uh, feeding 12 volts directly into it. Uh, it has uh, this particular nano version has a regular built-in converts it to 5 volts for the Arduino and then we have uh, a MOSFET one for each color uh, the MOSFETs are I believe TN606 I'll post it in the write-up uh, but a simple sketch uh, generated to drive each of the three LEDs separately and then all three at once to give you white and then I have also a uh, potentiometer hooked into one of the analog inputs of the Arduino. I'm reading that value, converting it, and then applying it as a pulse width modulation to each, each of the colors. You, you could do also, also do this individually. You have three different pots, so you can you know, adjust each color individually. Or you could use a touch screen and get fancy. But this is just a real simple uh, uh, demonstration of what could be done. The, uh, the MOSFETs dissipate almost zero power, so there's no heat sinking involved. And you can drive these up to full level. Right now, uh, the pulse width is very narrow, so it's very dim. As for photographic reasons, as you'll see in a second. <laughs> so I'm going to crank these up to full, and as you go up, it get brighter and brighter. And then you, now you can see it's they're quite bright to the point where it's hard to see the color using a webcam. So that's my quick take. I mean, this, this took like maybe 20 minutes to put together and total cost is under $15.